All right, so what we have here is uh, basically a solar tracker. Um, we have a sensor right here, which has LEDs, which act as photodiodes. Um, when it's pointed at the sun, this has got a shader on it, and this shader will shade all these LEDs equally, and so it'll, it won't move. But if it's a little bit off on the sun, then this one LED will be shaded differently, and there'll be a voltage difference outputted. And this voltage difference goes to a chip which controls these motors, and this, the chip uh, takes a voltage difference and tells which motor which way to go, east or west. This motor goes east-west, this motor goes north-south. Um, so then it rotates, these, these motors rotate the, the mirror, the lens that we have, and it points it at the sun. So and the overall purpose, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the overall purpose is to act as a solar concentrator. Uh, this is a lens, so what you take is this entire sunlight that's incident on the lens, focus it down to a t single point, and the idea, the purpose of this thing is for um, alternative energy research. Uh, we're designing it for someone who works with optics, and he wanted something that he could um, test using really small solar, ch uh, solar panels, uh, focusing a lot of light down to a single small solar panel. And that would save you the cost. You could use um, smaller or fewer solar panels and get the same um, energy because you're getting the same amount of sunlight. Um, so this is kind of a rough prototype. We built this initially out of wood. We're going to switch over to aluminum. We're actually getting the parts machined. Uh, so we'll have smaller, more compact, lighter um, parts. Um, and let's see, we're going to turn it on. This should, when it's in dark mode, when, it's, um, when I cover the sensor, it thinks it's nighttime. So right now it's parking in its default position. So you can see how it's turning. And this one's turning slightly or it's already in park. There we go. All right, so the only other thing, um, the motors are controlled by the chip. We can control the voltage. We put potentiometers on so we can control the speed of these motors, which controls how quickly it tracks and how much overshoot we get. Um, the, the main thing that separates this tracker from most solar trackers is that we were trying to make something that's very, very precise. Uh, this was supposed to be within a thousandth of a degree. Uh, we measured within two thousandths of a degree, but it's really hard to measure precision uh, at such small, uh, to such uh, accurate uh, points. But uh, overall, yeah, it's, it's an incredibly accurate tracker, and that's the point of our project.